Hello, I'm Perry Pictures, and today I'm redrawing your OCs submitted in Discord while we talk about the bike accident that scarred my face the day before prom. Before we begin our story, I just want to say the names of each character's creator will be posted in the top right corner at the beginning of each sketch, and I appreciate all of you who have joined our community on Discord. It's been amazing being able to hang out with our affectionados such as yourself. Without further ado, it was my sophomore year of high school, and normally only juniors and seniors went to prom, but I had a date to prom with eight junior. Prom wasn't the only thing happening that weekend, though. I also had a track meet on that Friday after school. I guess it's important to mention that I didn't have a driver's license or a car, and the school was two miles away from my home. And I mention this because the bus ride to and from school was a one-way ticket depending on what part of the day you were riding it, and I was feeling under the weather that day. <coughs> so I called out sick from school and naturally wasn't on the bus, nor was I on campus for classes. <laughs> and I really did stay in bed the whole day to rest and recover, Scout's Honor, because I was determined not to miss the track meet that evening when school was over. I ran a couple of different races, the 400 meter relay, the one mile, and the two mile long distance races. In the summer, I would often jog to and from school for cheer practice, so it wasn't that far of a run, but knowing I wasn't feeling my best that day and I was going to school to run three races, I didn't want to exhaust myself running to the school before even starting the match. I also couldn't drive there, and at 3.30 in the afternoon, the bus was headed in the opposite direction. When it was time, I caught on my track uniform and running shoes, grabbed my water bottle and my bike from the garage, and I hit the road. I wasn't really much of a bicyclist, full disclosure, but there was no sidewalks on the streets between me and my destination, so I had to bike on the road. And for my own sake and comfort, I stayed mostly on the shoulder. I was almost there, you guys, but I had made one critical mistake. I had hung my water bottle on the left handle of my bike and it was swinging freely, which was fine until I twisted sideways to go around some rubble and perhaps I was going a little too fast for an evasion maneuver. That's when the water bottle swung into the spokes of my front tire. And wham bam, thank you ma'am, my bike flipped over on the spot throwing me face first into said gravel that I was trying to avoid. It was all very dramatic. So dramatic, in fact, that a car on the opposite side of the road thought I was struck by a passing car in my lane and he turned on the spot to pull over into the shoulder behind me and come out running. I got up, dusted myself off, heard the trucker shouting as he ran up to me, asking if I wanted to ride to the hospital, asking if that car had hit me, asking if I was all right. And before we go any further, I just want to offer a quick trigger warning for anyone who feels uncomfortable around the topic of blood. I will put a timestamp up on screen for where you can jump to to get around that part of the conversation. I tried to tell him I was fine, no one had hit me, that I just need to go to school. He looked at me like he had seen a ghost and asked again if I needed a ride to the hospital and assured me that I could put my bike in the back of his truck if that was my concern. I said I'll be fine and I picked up my bike and tried to mount it facing the school that was probably less than half a mile away now and that's when I finally realized why the trucker was looking at me like that. It was getting a lot harder for me to see because blood kept dripping into my right eye. I wiped it away and more came back. I guess I did need help after all and accepted the trucker's offer to take me and my bike, but only if he'd drop us off at the school. When I got there, I gave everyone I passed on my way to the bathroom a good scare, looking like Carrie on prom night after they dropped the bucket on her. In the mirror, I found a few rocks embedded in my face that stung to remove, and I had to hold a wad of tissue to my face for quite a while before the bleeding would stop. Not proud of this. And it's not the only time I've pushed myself to injury trying to make state in track, but after my coach saw me and said I was not allowed to run, I waited until the last second before the gun and jumped onto the track in the last lane and ran my race anyway. Unfortunately, I did not win. Um, I was in the middle-ish, but I did get in a lot of trouble for disobeying my coach, and my mom gave him and I an earful that I will never forget when she showed up and saw my face. But what does all of this have to do with prom? That accident left me looking like a literal crater face on the right side of my forehead. But fortunately for me, my sister is a talented beautician and gave me a very mid-2000s swishy banged haircut so I could go to prom the next day looking like an emo Barbie. To rub salt in the wound, that Sunday we took our track team photos as well, but looking back at the pics now, you'd never know what happened. 
So that's the story of how I became Harry Potter my sophomore year of high school. More of the story, wear a helmet, I guess. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed both the artwork and the flashback. If so, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to hear more about my unwise choices and come to question things like, how am I still alive the same way that I do? Subscribe and check out one of these videos next. Thank you for watching. And if you can relate, leave a comment about your experiences down below and I will see you next time.